Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you had a really good Christmas. Um, today's Tamani, Tamani's 20th ride, and I went back and just kind of showed her the basics, because she's the type of horse that, she's had two weeks off, put it this way. Uh, if you don't do things with her daily, and then you go, just expect her to be okay with it, she's not going to be okay with it. She's going to freeze, and maybe even panic. So I went to get on here, and you watch her back legs and her head. They look relaxed, and then you can just see them tense, and her head go up. So I didn't even go any further than that, and I went back and just rubbed all over her, uh, flopped the stirrups, did some flexing with her, just went back, and she kind of showed her the basics. Um, we do do a little bit of trotting today, but we don't canter just because the ground's not the best. It is kind of frozen underneath, but it's not, like, extremely slick or anything like that. But I'm very proud of her. Um... She, you know, she's had two weeks off and she does good. She does panic a little bit. So here I'm just kind of practicing bouncing, making sure she's good with it. You can see her head's kind of jerking up and down a little bit. Like she's a little bit worried, a little bit unsure. So I just um, did some bouncing and then I let her have her head back rubbed on her and unlocked her feet a little bit. Um, unlocking their feet is just allowing them to kind of I don't know. I think of it as like a breather. You're letting them know it's okay. They can move. They don't have to be locked up. So here I'm going to do the same thing. But I'm going to lean over and play with the stirrup. Just making sure she's okay. You can see her head raised there a little bit while I'm playing with the stirrup. She's a little worried. That's okay. I'm just going to keep doing it. And when she's good and quiet, I'll get off. And then I walked her around a little bit, let her unlock her feet, and then I just got, um, played with the stirrup a little bit here, touched her butt a little bit, make sure she was okay, and then I got on. So it didn't take much to kind of just show her what I expected, but with her, I don't know, she's the type of horse that kind of needs that, at least right now. So here we're just doing some flexing, and then we're flexing here, and she just decided she wants to move. So I'm just going to hold my position and wait for her to flex and stop and stand still. I'm not going to force her into a stop or anything because her moving off is her telling me she's a little unsure, she's a little nervous. So by forcing her, if I were to force her to stop, it would make the situation worse. Um, so I'm just allowing her to move her feet, and I'm just going to wait until she stops and stands still. And when she's quiet and stays there for a little bit, then we'll go back and do the flexing the other way. So you can see the same thing here. As soon as I flex her, she starts kind of moving a little bit. So she's a little unsure. So could I have gotten on her in the big pasture and, and went out and been fine? Probably, but I'm kind of a worrywart and I don't mind going back a step just to make sure we're both comfortable. So here I allow her to move out straight. And she's doing really, really good. Um, I went back and played with some things just to kind of see if she remembered anything. I didn't have my spurs on today because I wasn't really looking for very much body control. It was just kind of like a refresher ride to see where we're at. And hopefully the weather will be good and I can finish off her other 10 rides. That way she'll have 30 rides on her. Um, so here we're doing a little bit of flexing. And she's a little stiff so I don't get after her as much as I did in my last ride video because she has had time off. But we go back here and we work on vertical flexion and she did really good. She was a little bit heavy, but again, she's had time off, so I can't expect perfection from her. Um, but she did very well for the time that she did have off. She backed up really, really nicely. Uh, she's a little bit heavy in the bit, but like I said, with consistency, that'll get better if the weather over there kind of is on our side. So we did a little bit of trotting here and a little bit of trotting there. And if she wants to shut down early, I'm going to allow it as of right now because of the ground. I'm not looking for a lot anyways. Like right there, she tripped. And I don't mind a horse actually tripping. So here I wish she would have finished the turn more with her shoulder, meaning she had turned all the way back to the fence. But that's okay. She's on a nice loose rein here, and I'm just kind of steering her back to the fence. Um, it's hard to be consistent in the winter. So here you can see her head's up and raised, and her ears are perked. She's a little bit worried. So I just flex her. Or then ask her to walk in a circle with her head flex. So what's happening is uh, to the left side of the canner, camera, um, my dad is out with the dog playing in the snow. And she can't see them, but she can hear them. So she's a little bit worried. So all I did was just 
flex her head and ask her to move in a circle. That way she's kind of getting to look and, and listen that in, in that direction, but she's also being asked to do a job so she doesn't have the chance to focus and freeze. So after that, we did a little bit more walking around, and then I asked her for a backup. And then I got off. That was the end of the ride. It was about a 14, 13 minute ride. And, you know, it was good for the first ride in a while. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.